So I went to medical school when I was older. I started off studying um, painting, sculpture, art history at the uh, University of Pennsylvania. Um, while I was there, I did a lot of community service, um, involved in uh, a lot of uh, aid support groups, um, part of a uh, very exciting community at the time. Um, ultimately, I came to the decision that I wanted to do something where I was able to impact on someone's life. Since 1981, since they first diagnosed one of the first cases of HIV, the community you know, has been devastated and it's gone through many phases. You know, during the darker days in the late 80s when people were, you know, turning to mushrooms and, and any alternative medicine they can get, um, you know, there was very little any of us can do. Um, with the advent of uh, antiretroviral medications, everything changed. Um, you know, you can, you can treat a chronic condition now. Um, in terms of kidney disease early on with HIV, it was usually uh, a late stage complication. Um, I remember when I was training up in Washington, I'd heard nephrologists talk about the fact that they, would they even question offering dialysis to persons with HIV. And this was a common conversation no more than 10 years ago. Um, what we know now is that the whole um, pathology in terms of what's happening with the kidney in patients who are HIV infected um, who are actually doing quite well with their antiretrovirals is more of a, a chronic uh, uh, disease. Not necessarily HIVAN, which was the HIV-associated nephropathy that originally was diagnosed, uh, but now it tends to be more a chronic state associated with medications, uh, chronic inflammatory states associated with the, uh, the, 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 the viral infection. Um, and aging. I mean, this is a population of persons who um, are getting older. And just like everybody else, they have diabetes, they have heart disease, um, they have high blood pressure. And on top of that, you have to take a regimen of medications um, to, to prevent the uh, progression of these diseases. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole mixed bag right now. In a way, it's, it's great because we have these people um, and they're here and they're with us um, and that didn't exist 20 years ago, you know. Um, but it's a, uh, unfortunately, when you're already dealing with a lot of very difficult health issues, um, having to deal with kidney disease on top of uh, a chronic HIV infection or uh, diabetes or what other, whatever other disease, it just adds to the to the pot.